Are we on? No phone case. That's risky. Do that's, you know how you, that's how you know you're minted. Do you know, know why? Why is that? Oh, you're going to hate this. You're going to hate it. Don't know whether to say it out loud. Go Bentley's on. got wireless charging on it. So huh? uh, my Bentley has got wireless charging. That's in the UK though, isn't it? So you probably need the case. Yeah, so I took the case off, you know, ah. just to put it on the wireless charging point. So it was charging You can up. get cases though, dude. The wireless charging goes through it. So really? Probably, yeah, yeah. No. I've got one. Have you? I've got one there. That might be too thick. So it's like a little sleeve that you put it in like Yeah, that. but it's the... Oh, is it? Oh, it's a sleeve, is it? So it's like a sleeve, oh, yeah. Okay. It's not like a platform. Oh, sorry, it, I don't have a just, Bentley and I've been in one. So yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll show you. Oh, I'll show you <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, Get the thanks. rubber gloves on and stuff. You allow me to, you can allow me in there. Yeah, yeah I take you, my shoes off. You then. can look, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> I'm going to go in a hazmat. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, let me into your car. Anyway, we'll we'll roll with that. So anyway, yes, we're Dan and Mike. We're here to help you with your online fitness business in any way we can. Uh, and Mike's going to tell you that you need to follow and subscribe. Um, uh, you just did it. Follow and subscribe. Share us around. Like, uh, like I was going to say something really bad then, but I resisted for some reason. Like what? Um, like no, a cheap. I can't say it. Chlamydia. Follow Share us around it. like chlamydia. Oh, anyway. that's fine. Yeah. Share it viral. Let's go viral. We want to go viral. Um, so today's topic is going to be off the back of the last video, and we haven't planned it, but it's on our top of our mind. So we're going to talk about it. That's just the way we work these it's days. How we roll. Um, we're, we're that good, I want to say. Um, oh. Yeah, actually, let's say it now. It's been nine years of being self-deprecating. We actually are quite good. Um, why having more followers is actually hurting your business? Oh, I bet you think we say that. I bet you didn't think that was coming out of our mouth. Against the grain. Always against the grain. So, um, yeah. I mean, I don't have any followers. Ever since Mike got over 10,000, he's now realized it's bad for his business. Would you believe? Nah, not Mike. No. It's not Mike. But um, let's talk about going viral in the social media sense of having loads more followers. We'll talk about some examples. I've got a specific example of one of my clients who's done really well uh, and doing the opposite of this. And we'll talk about that as well. I'm sure we'll get to the example of that. Cool. But yeah. So um, firstly... Having more followers is, is generally considered quite a good thing. You know, it, it, this oh, no. is not going to be applicable if you've got 300 followers, for example. I would definitely try to get more followers if, 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 you're, if you're there. But I, I don't necessarily think that you would need more than 3,000, 5,000. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's always good to keep, to keep growing over time. But I think, um, I think at a steady rate, I think these big influxes of, of, of kind of viral videos and, and people going to, to half a million um, followers and so on and so forth. I think um, I think it can be detrimental long long term. Like, I think in the short term, I do think it's difficult. And again, I've got probably an anecdote here as well. Um, I'll probably do it after your one. Um, I think it can, but I there's just something within me that's like, I would rather have slower growth mm -hmm. um, and attracting the right type of person to the point where, let's just say every 100 followers, maybe 80 of them might be a, roughly around your target market and you know, you're gonna get 20 outliers. Um, as opposed to these viral videos that maybe out of 100 followers, you might only be getting, say for example, 10 or even less, um, you know, perfect type, type matches in terms of clients. Because when you start to, to hit these bigger numbers, it becomes like finding a needle in a haystack as to who wants to, to work with you. Um, so it, it can actually drop your engagement. So let's just say you've got 500,000 um, followers and let's just take a rough figure just for, for sake of maths and say it's 10%. Let's just say Instagram shows 10%. I don't think it's that high, but let's just say they do show 10%. So that means 50,000 people are gonna see your content. Now, what happens if it's the wrong 50,000 people? And you might kind of scoff at that and go, oh, the wrong 50,000. That's quite a lot of people. It's not that high, but let's just say it's. Um, it could very, very easily out of 500,000 be the wrong 50,000, very, very easily. Um, because from what we're seeing, there's a lot of people that are getting followers from India or American teenagers that are just kind of going on, you know, almost busting the algorithm or playing with the algorithm and doing funny videos. It's all well and good, but a half a million followers then and all you're known for is doing funny videos waving a pound of fat around or putting a microphone on the end of a wooden spoon I don't know about you but is that the coach that you would choose to hand money over to to get your result I don't think I would so it's all well and good getting people to follow you because of funny videos and they might be there to enjoy the videos and so on and so forth but does it mean that they're going to sign up with you I don't think it does and it seems to be playing out that way I think, the, like you said there about the needle and the haystack thing is, is bang on because one of my clients, again, half a million 
um, followers and he's at the point where he can't message people. There's too many people. There's too many people responding to stuff. He can't filter through the DMs quick enough. Can't figure out who's the right fit for him. So he's got to move people over to email list and you can do it there and, and that's what we're working on. But if he didn't have that and he wasn't smart enough and switched on enough, like you feel, people will feel like you're ignoring them, feel like they're missing out and they won't feel that connection with you. Um, that, that's the first thing to, to note with that. The second thing is, is like Mike said there is, the other thing that I see as a trend is that you then have coaches who are addicted to the dopamine hit of getting more followers and posting viral videos and actually they're more concerned with and the questions they ask are, my reel didn't reach as many people. Oh, this one didn't get viral. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I haven't had a viral reel in the last three weeks. It's never a question of, oh, how do I help this client? Or my social proof video didn't get much engagement. It's never those questions. It's always, oh my, I didn't go viral again. And there's, there's so much focus on getting followers in and there is next to no focus on, well, engage the followers you've got. There's, there's, there's no one talking about, well, once you get the followers in, how are you engaging them? How are you, how are you talking to them? How are you making sure they're within your niche? How are you then trying to get them to unfollow you if they're not in your niche? Like, are you posting content that's gonna make them want to unfollow you? Well, what do you mean, Dan, that's stupid. Well, no, it's not. If you then start posting personal stuff, more passionate stuff, controversial stuff, you're gonna get more unfollows. Well, that's bad. No, it's not bad. It's great because you're filtering people who then follow you rather than having a huge number of people who you've got no idea if they're just there for funny videos. And the other thing, a lot of people who follow accounts like that follow loads of other accounts like that. And they're just these social media, like just junkies. They just follow anyone who has a funny video, anyone who has a somewhat entertaining video. Yes, you want people to follow you because you're entertaining videos, but you can't just post those videos. You have to show people that you're doing a job that requires them to pay you money if they want further results, they want to better their results and that sort of stuff. But just seeing this trend at the moment of people chasing followers without understanding why they need followers and what it is about those followers that makes them people that are gonna then buy from them. Because that's what ultimately you're, you're running here. Um, and it comes back to this whole thing of they go, well, I've got 200,000 followers and I've got 30 clients if they've got 30 clients. So I need, does that mean you need 400,000 to get to 60? Because <laughs> if it does, that's a lot of people. There, there, must be, there must be another 30 people within those followers. Oh, but I don't know, I don't know where they are, I don't know how to get them. And, and that's, the, that's the issue, is like, you can't do the things you need to do to identify within those followers how many of them are interested, like com conversations, like DMs, like those, it's too many people. Mm -hmm. If you put something up and then you got all these messages, you couldn't reply to people quick enough. You couldn't get through the, the sheer volume of it. And then you start thinking about, okay, cool. Well, if you're then not responding to people in DMs, you're not responding to comments. Does Instagram look at your account and go, well, he's not responding, they're not engaging. So we'll reduce the reach then. We won't show it to as many people because they're not engaging with them. So I don't know. I got a couple of clients that, that, that have come in. They're at like a, a joint partnership. They've got 600,000 followers between them um, and they charge up front. And um, last year, they, they did a couple of good months and so on and so forth and, and got a good business in their own right. Um, but they, they came into coaching. I believe they had 38 clients between them when they came in. So it had declined on from where it was. But in that time, their growth on Instagram and, and TikTok, I think, it, had gone up, obviously. But yet their business had declined. And I was like, so they're charging two grand up front. I was like, how difficult is it going to be to find people willing to pay two grand up front out of 600,000, you're going to be booking in calls and people just can't afford it. Like, so then you're going to have to pre-qualify these people to get them to get them on the phone and so on and so forth. But then you start to, to do things like that. You're then providing an even greater filter for the people that actually would want to come in anyway. So you're then stuck and it is the needle in a haystack analogy. Um, and I would prefer to have had 10,000, and I'm not just saying it, I'd prefer to have nine or 10,000 followers because it's much easier then to distinguish who it is that's interested. And I've just had a, a consultation last week with a guy who did Love Island a few years ago who is in the process of, uh, of leaving like an agency type thing and, and he's going to come on board. And um, some of the things I spoke to him about, um, he, he said was actually quite refreshing because he said he's sick to death of seeing people say, oh, because of your following, you, you should be smashing it. He said... But it's not that simple. It was like, because people are there. And in in his own words, he said, people are there to see me post a picture of me on a beach with other people from Love Island. That they'll like all day long. But in terms of coaching, nobody's interested. Mm -hmm. 
he was like, so I'm sick to death of people saying how easy it should be because, you know, Love Islander and I'm in shape and stuff like that and people are going to want to be in shape just like me. So it's not easy at all. And I agreed with him. I was like, yeah, because you've built your following because not because people are interested in what you know as a coach or even they're interested in coaching at any stage. They followed you because you're a social, like your personality. Yeah. There might be women that fancy you. There might be guys that fancy you. There might be people who like the the, the, the gossip or a Love Island fans or there might be people that followed you at the time of Love Island because it has you know 10 million viewers or whatever. You might have got 200,000 people at that stage who followed you then and might have never even fucking seen your stuff since. They might just be sat around. Mm. Um, so... Again, like you've just said there, it seems at the moment coaches' main aim is to grow following. And I would just worry that in a year's time that a lot of those followers, once the novelty of your videos of you waving around these props is gone, mm -hmm. I would just worry that you're going to be left with an account that's, that's dead in terms of engagement. Yes, you might have got a big number at the top, but I think story views, people actually buying for you from you, I think you're going to be in a little bit of a situation. So... What I would actually say to do is spend a month on growth, spend a month on connection. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, play the game with growth, hit, hit your reels, so on and so forth, do that. But then at least spend a month, like, with, you know, connecting to the people that have just come in, doing your outreach, um, showing social proof, showing why you're the best coach, and not trying to play the game and try to go viral. Like, do some of the content that we spoke about in previous videos about, you know, showing your USP and showing your personality and that side of things, because... I know if I'm looking for a coach, I'm going off results. I'm not going off a, a video that's somebody waving a prop around. So obviously Callum Racerix is an extreme example of that, but someone who just posts results and, and, and has a really successful business. But I am, um, so I've got two clients again, who, who is both doing very, very well in their own right in terms of their business. One of them has 2,300 followers, I think, something like that. Um, he is doing 10K months, came to me doing 10K months. Um, huge business built off referrals. The results he gets are insane. Absolutely insane. He needs to work more on his growth. He needs to work more on getting more of his personality out there and making all these these, these videos that are going to entice people in a little bit. But again, his USP is going to be the results he gets, his knowledge, all that sort of stuff. So we have to use it a bit differently with, with him, for example. Got another client. So she started to see some really, really good growth in terms of her videos. It started really taking off. Does really good gym tips for females in particular. She's funny. Loads of personality in there. Um, and we started seeing a really good upward trend in her followers. Like she was posting, I think she posted maybe two or three, uh, and she got she went from about I think it was about three thousand followers to about sixteen in quite a big hit. We then I said to her, I said, I've seen this happen. You need to post social proof right now. Post social proof. I just don't care how you do it. I said, but one in every two posts needs to be social proof, however it looks. She was like, okay, cool. Started doing it. The following slowed down clients started to go up yeah so clients you got like three or four clients i think it was in a couple of weeks there okay cool now post more of those videos you want they're going really really well posted more of those videos got up to 26 27 000. cool stop what you're doing i was like social proof all day long i said and now not only social proof but social proof along with we need to get these people on an email list we went for a system where we set up her email list we set up some automations and we made sure that the lead magnet was extremely specific to the ne the exact niche she wanted to work with. She knew a niche inside out, which is why the videos were going so well. The videos were all on gym tips. So the lead magnet then was, right, um, four-week training program for her niche to get into this position, whether it was to beat gym anxiety or get shredded or whatever it was, doesn't, doesn't matter. And the point is, it was directly related to her niche. So that we could go, right, out of those 28,000 people that have just started following, or some of them were obviously older than that, a bit from before, we need to know how many of those are actually interested in what you're offering because it's pointless growing beyond this point. We need to make sure we can get as many as we can. She put out one post after a bit of social proof and some of these videos. One post, again, all automated with DMs uh, and comments. You don't have to lift a finger. She got 1,200 email list subscribers. She doubled her email list through one post. And she said to me, I can't remember if it was a message or whatever, but she was like, if I hadn't have had your guidance, I would have just kept posting those videos and I'd have been stuck not knowing what to do. This, this is a coach as well who, who like really gets like anxious doing loads of DMs and like conversing with people. It's like, it takes a lot of energy for her. She like really struggles with it, which is fine. It's, it's normal. But I said to her, and she also struggles sending emails. I was like, can you now see the value in brain dumping on emails and send them to these people? She was like, 100%. She is now full with clients. She has a waiting list. Off that email list, she has now a separate waiting list. And she has 
just, I think she's just either, obviously we're doing this in June. She's just sent out an email to book calls in for people to start in July. So the next time she emails the waitlist is going to be to start in August. Now, would you rather be in a position where you know you've got people coming in in July and August to pay deposits, they're ready to start coaching you as full as you want to be? Or do you want to grow your following to half a million and not have a fucking clue how to deal with any of those people? Because like I said to her, 30,000 people is enough. So yep. you've just proven you can build a great business with 30,000. You don't even need more followers. You just need to do... So I said to her, I said, you need to do this again in a, in a month's, month's time. And again, the social proof is the next thing. I said, don't want more viral videos for the next month again. I was like, as much social proof. She's still going to post some, but obviously because of the way that it works, the virality of them, you have to post them continuously all the time. Mm-hmm. So if you mix in social proof and they don't get as much engagement, which again is fine, the, the videos never then reach that point where they kind of go viral. So the next four weeks is social proof of the lead magnet of how it's going and how people are enjoying it. Social proof of her clients, the odd videos, and then she's going to do the same thing again another month. She may, she's not going to get 1.2. Of course she's not. But she may get another 400 people on the email list. Then you go, right, back to doing the videos. If you want to grow another 10,000, cool. Let's try and grow another 10,000. But you're doing it from a place of full clients, waiting list, email list subscribers going up who are in your exact niche. So I said, so if you lost your Instagram tomorrow, with all those followers, let's say you get hacked, which again, when you have high amounts of followers, people try and hack you because you've got loads of followers and they can scam people out of money. You've got that 3,000 people on your email list that your exact niche and exact audience. What's more valuable? 3,000 people doing exactly in your niche or half a million people you haven't got a fucking clue who they are. I know which one I'd take. That, uh, half a million. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you missed the point, mate. It's a bigger number. <laughs> yeah, bigger number, isn't it? Surely. Um, and... and and this is the thing where people just think that we're shitting on it because we don't have half a million followers. I had a call with one of my clients who has half a million followers. And he was like, we, we talked about the numbers within our business a little bit. And we talked about where we're at. And he was just like, you're living, he said to me, you're living proof that it's fucking pointless and that you don't need it and that you do only need combined 17,000. You've got a bit more on me, but it's fine. But um, c- yeah, combined 17, but like there's going to be crossover. With there's going to be some crossover, so yeah. We might have got 13,000 yeah. between us. And it, and we're doing bigger numbers than than them people on, on you know those. So that's what we're saying it for. We're not saying it from a position of oh we're shitting on it because we haven't got it. Wouldn't want it for one. But it, it's trying to remember that there's 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 not merit in just getting followers for getting followers' sake. You have to know what you're doing with them and have a strategy in place. And that's exactly what mm-hmm. we're doing with these coaches. And I would argue it's almost too late once you've got them. Yeah. It's, it, you I, I need to agree. do it as you agree. grow. You need to do it as you grow and have these systems. Because now with my client there, she can constantly say, DM me this word, DM me this word, comment this word. And she's going to get people on her email list automated, automated. Imagine if you had that before you went to half a million or whatever. Oh, it's, yeah, that, that's it. I think that's it. But there we go. Just to show you that, look, it's not the be all and end all. It's not like, yes, again, you need followers to a certain point. You need all that sort of stuff. But what's more important is that you have the right people in your world, which is your email list, et cetera, et cetera, and on stories and stuff like that. So out of our, let's say, combined 13,000, how many coaches do you reckon we have? Well, I, I have on my... I, you, I was looking at this the other day. I can't remember exactly the amount, but I, I have quite a large, at the moment, like turnover. And what I mean by that is my followers haven't gone down, but I get unfollows and follows. Yeah. Same. Which is what you want, right? Because obviously we've changed our, our niche to a degree. So let me just look at the um, the dashboard and see on average over the last 90 days what that has been. And then I think you could probably extrapolate from that. Roughly, yeah. Roughly what, what we think it might be. So over the last 90 days, I have had 486 follows and 336 unfollows. Okay. So if we say we've uh, 486 people followed me in the last three months. Have I got more So 150 a month. Have I, have I had more or less than that? Quick comment in the thing. Mike's had more, Mike's had less. So 150 a month over a year, one and a half thousand. Is that right? No, that's wrong. More. It's going to be 2,000. 2,000 in a year. So we've been doing it for just just over a year now. So call it 2,250 coaches. And there was already coaches who followed us originally anyway. Um, and I look at, again, when I look at my story views as well, it's just like coach after coach after coach after coach. Yeah, same. So over the last three months, overall, 259. Overall. Overall, yeah, the overall number's low. 764 right? follows, 505 unfollows. Yeah, I'm one of those unfollows. 
yeah. You would, uh, <laughs> yeah. But so, that's the thing, right? Is that's what you want. I, so when you look at the number, overall number, go, oh, you know, you've only had 200, 100 followers in 90 days. No, no, we've had 700 yeah. followers. Because if you were to follow us now, you'd have to be a coach or someone trying to sell short form video. But I also remove them straight away as soon as, if I get someone follow me who isn't in my ideal niche, I remove them as a follower as soon as they follow me. You know, those people who are like content strategists, yeah. VAs, I just remove them. I just, I see them coming in a mile away, remove them straight off the bat. Anyone who's following seven and a half thousand accounts who isn't a coach, I pretty much remove them. I don't want them. So I, I would say like, how long have we been doing this? About year? Yeah, it's got to be coming up to a year now. So, so let's, just, about... let's just say a year then. So like you've just said there, so 700 over three three months. So it's 2,000 two a year, isn't it? Because you times it by four. So that's yep. quarters. So let's just say we've got 2,000, maybe 3,000 coaches. Yeah, a bit of crossover between us as well. Yeah. So Quite a lot, probably more crossover than More crossover, yeah. yeah. So let's just say we might have got 3,000, 4,000 top followers between mm -hmm. us. And we've got 600 clients over mm -hmm. in the business. We don't, we don't need 300,000. But literally, literally, coach client like co like because no one's going to sign up with us. They're not online coaches now. Like no one's going to sign up with us. So I genuinely think we've probably got three to four thousand online coaches as clients. But because we do our content the way that we do it, because we stand for something, because we've got personality, because we're different, because we know our USP, because we know our niche, because we'll engage with you in DMs, because it's actually us and not VA, because we don't sell to you straight away, because we're just there, because if you need us, we're there, if we'll give you advice, and we've got you know a decent setup with how we run the members group and so on and so forth. And because what we do in terms of our coaching is what I believe to be really high value, high service, high level, one-to-one -one support, we only need a certain amount of people to work with mm -hmm. us. And we've currently got 600 in total in the business. Like, in terms of one-to-one -one clients between me and you, we've, we're probably around the 200 mark. The rest of them are members groups or uh, our coaches, clients, and so on and so forth. And when a blitz is, blitz is running, to be fair, blitz has not run, so we've probably got about 500. Something along those lines. Um, yeah, about 500 uh, without a blitz. Um but it's just living proof that, again, you'll not see us trying to do viral videos um, and, and trying to play that. We'll just keep putting out good content that's niche specific, that's, you know, us authentic and will engage with people off the back of it. And we might have got 40 or 50 coaches at the moment that we're, we're talking to in DMs semi-frequently that might come in, that might not. I don't know whether Dan said it in this video or a different video still not lost anything even if, if they don't come in it's still the right thing to be doing mm -hmm. and that's it and you do that over time and once you've done that for six months a year you'll have such a, a, con <laughs> a conveyor belt of people to the point where like at the moment we can't take any more more on one to one I've got I've got people that book I'm having to book their calls in in three weeks time four weeks time anticipating that I might have somebody drop off there's just not enough time there's not enough time for it and we don't have that amount of followers I've literally got people who have paid a deposit to start in July, August, September. Because again, the demand is, is, is there to, to a certain degree, but but also like, like Mike said there, it's because you're talking to them, you're conversing with them about their situation, where they're at, what they need help with, and maybe they don't need help for another month or two, or they're doing something else, something else is crazy is going on in their life. You don't get that by paying up, you know, paying up front and, you know, it's a bit of a tangent there, but like it's, it, the, the key thing there is to remember is that you can be in this position. You can be in a position where you have a, some sort of a waiting list. This is gonna, automatic, isn't that? I love that. Um, you can do it. We've done it. We did it with our coaching business. We had that waiting list. We had people there ready, waiting, almost when, you know, like clockwork. Because of the engagement you can build up with people. And at that time, we had even less followers. Mm. So, yeah, anyway. I think we banged that, that drum enough. Um, yeah. All right. Don't worry about it. But go follow us. <laughs> yeah, follow us. Yeah, we need <laughs> Subscribe, you. please. But we actually do need you, though, because you, you probably are online coaches. So. Yeah, there you go. What kind of that? Done. That's it. Like and stuff. Yeah. Bebo and what, whatever. Everything. Yeah. See ya.